particular area of research that I'm particularly excited about is understanding whether uh, we can develop nanostructured solar cells in which the efficiency and flexibility is enhanced, at the same time the cost is reduced. And one of the ways to, uh, uh, to achieve this goal is by developing transparent electrodes that are significantly less expensive or cheaper than the currently existing um, transparent electrodes. Just to give you an example, currently the transparent electrodes that are being used uh, for displays, for solar cells, are mostly based on the material that is called indium tin oxide. And that material contains indium, which is relatively uh, expensive material. Um, and it, as we are expanding the realm of applications where these transparent electrodes are needed, uh, this will increase the cost of indium even further. For that reason, we are exploring graphene, which is a one-dimensional layer of carbon atoms, which has exceptional electrical um, and other properties. So it has um, uh, electrical conductivity that is comparable to indium tin oxide. At the same time, it's made from carbon, and carbon is really abundant type of material. And uh, we are developing solar cells in which the electrodes are based uh, on graphene. And um, another uh, approach to that is once we do have and once we do develop these electrodes that are based on graphene, another challenge is to understand how to interface graphene with other materials to produce the solar cell itself. So the solar cells, in, ad in addition to electrodes, need to have the active device material. And uh, current research efforts in my group are in understanding how to deposit different type of materials on the graphene surface such that we can develop these very unique solar cells. So some of the uh, applications of solar cells that are based on nanostructured organic and inorganic materials would be for uh, even decorative purposes. So for example, if the, these solar cells are transparent, then they could be, for example, used on large surfaces, on the surfaces of the buildings, or even on windows. So the fact that they can be partially transparent means that part of the sunlight can be still transmitted such in a way that the windows do not lose their functionality. At the same time, because of the large surface of buildings and windows, we could imagine large, surface, uh, large surfaces that are covered with solar cells. And they could simultaneously harness the solar energy and still keep their functionality. So this is one of the applications in addition to uh, applications where I mentioned where the flexible uh, uh, nature of the solar cells is important, like in the example of cars or other curved circuits.